Today, our favorite hymns are on the chopping block. The woke mob is coming after Christmas carols, and they have their sights set on one of the classics, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. The traditional Christmas song features the lyrics, God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember, Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. An important message that represents the entire meaning of Christmas. But this season is a time to celebrate Christ and all that he stands for. But one church in England decided to erase hundreds of years of holiday tradition by rewriting the lyrics to the song. All Saints with Holy Trinity Church in Britain decided that they needed to make the song more inclusive. So the church added two new verses to the carol, with the first saying, God rest you also women who by men have been erased through history ignored and scorned, defiled and displaced. And the second reading, God rest you queer and questioning, your anxious hearts be still. Is nothing sacred anymore? Religious tradition is important. It helps connect generations. So as you can guess, the church's defiling of a Christmas classic did not sit well with England's most senior Catholic leader, Cardinal Vincent Nicholas. Ritual helps us to step outside of our own little bubble, connect with something that we have received, inherited, and that we hope to pass on. And, and I think those values of a continuation of musical repertoire, of the ability to sing together, of looking at the rituals that we that have been fashioned over centuries, mm. uh, and those are probably, for me, more important than particular sensitivities which come and go. But this desecration of sacred religious traditions, unfortunately, is not surprising. Christ has been entirely removed from the Christmas season. We went out to the streets this week to see if people even knew what Christmas was all about. Where was Jesus born? In the hospital? I want to say the North Pole. Bethlehem. I missed this class in Sunday school, I'm telling you. I am 59, I don't have time to be remembering all this stuff because I went to Sunday school, that was years ago. Where is Bethlehem? Pennsylvania. Ukraine. What was Jesus' profession? Making sure that his reindeers are all healthy. He was a carpenter. Would that be like his sleigh, maybe? Jesus wasn't Santa Claus. Was he like a doctor, like a, like a doctor, kind of? And this alarming trend isn't just a holiday anomaly. Church membership and belief in God has crumbled in America. Today, nearly 20% of Americans do not believe in God. A monumental fall from just a decade ago when over 90% still believed in the Lord. Even worse is a majority of Americans no longer be belong to a church either. This trend was accelerated by the pandemic as church attendance plummeted by 45% during the lockdowns. Religion is part of the foundation of America. Our pledge says one nation under God. Our money says in God we trust on it. And our presidents are sworn in on a Bible. Faith and freedom go hand in hand in America. So this drop in believers is a threat to our national identity. When we lose our faith, we lose our morals. Look at what is happening to our cities. Shoplifting, crime, violence, all running wild in our streets. Want to go Christmas shopping? You better bring a shield. A nation without faith is a nation searching for an identity. Our religious beliefs are important, especially during the Christmas season. We need to remind people why we celebrate Christmas, and it starts by protecting our Christmas carols.